mentally strong Positive mindset, a world-class foundation for you and me Getting to know young youths and athletes and talented coaches and so much more Champions in the making, no pain, no gain Bringing you levels, bringing you levels to the table Warriors, teaching warriors Everybody welcome to the Dalton Grand Show Hi, I'm Dalton Grant. This is the Dalton Grant Academy talk show. And welcome to another episode. I'm so thrilled to have this person on my show. I'd like to give you a little background, a little insight to him. In 1989, he jumped 2 meters 43, winning a gold medal in the world indoors in Hungary and Budapest. The first time a person has jumped a tag, the closest to eight foot. He didn't jump the high eight foot, close to eight foot. I jumped 2 meters 35 in that same competition, coming fourth, jumping the same height as a silver medalist. Outdoors that year, he achieved that by jumping 2 meters 44 in Puerto Rico, the first time a human being has jumped over eight foot. In 1993, in the world indoors in Toronto, Canada, he beat Patrick Schoberg to the gold medal, jumping the height of 2 meters 41. Patrick Schoberg jumped 239, and I, jumped 234. Our own Steve Smith from UK jumped 237. Outdoors that same year, we had a great performance by him in Spain. The second time he jumped eight foot, the first time a human has jumped it twice, a human being. Two minutes 45, which is the world record today. And there's been so many great high jumps from the past, Hollis Conway, Patrick Schoberg, Steve Smith, Tim Forsyth, Hollis Conway, the list goes on, Patrick Schoenberg, Carlo Franha, you know, Igor Paklin, Abdienko, um, so many jumpers, and he's the goat of goat. He's the Billy Goat. And I like to say, welcome to the show, Javier Sotomayor. Bienvenido, Javier. Está diciendo bienvenido. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. He said, thank you very much. And in this episode, it's all going to be on me. Javier Sotomayor is there, but you can't see him. We'll also have someone who can interpret it for us, and it's my cousin, Ilana, all the way over in America. And she was actually born in Cuba. So thank you um, for helping me. That's my cousin. And I'd like to say, Javier, what can I say? Once again, welcome to the show. Javier, what inspired you to do sports? Javier, él quiere saber qué es lo que te inspiró a este deporte o a cualquier deporte. Yo desde pequeño siempre me gustó el deporte. El atletismo, el baloncesto y el béisbol. Eran los tres deportes que siempre me gustó de, de pequeño y ayudó mucho que haya cogido el atletismo por los, los amigos míos que casi todos empezaron a practicar El, el atletismo y creo que eso fue lo que ayudó para que yo en vez de hacer básquet o béisbol hiciera atletismo he said since a child he's always loved baseball basketball um, even the sport the high jump and it's been such an inspiration to him as he was growing up so it was came like maybe second nature as he was um, getting into the you know, the world of sports as um, a young adult. So um, he's really enjoyed the sports. Wow. So what I'd like to find out is that, was there anyone who was sporty in his family? Was his mom sporty or his dad or his granddad? Is there anyone where he had those, those talent? Alguna persona en tu familia, sea tu mamá o tu papá o cualquiera que que eran, um, estaban también interesados en, en deporte. No, prácticamente el primer atleta de mi familia fui yo. No tengo said, the very, herencia ni por parte de mis abuelos, ni por parte de mi padre. He said, really, the first person 
to excel in sports or even be interested in sports has been him. He, not even his grandparents, he hasn't had any, any type of um, um, motivation, <laughs> right, or, you know, from any, either of his parents or grandparents. So he's really the first one that, right. um, that began so in sports he, and his who, family. Okay, sports and his family. So who did he look up to in baseball, for instance? Who was his favorite player? ¿Quién fue tu favorito? Um, deportista en, en béisbol, vamos a, decir, vamos a decir. En béisbol, cuando yo era pequeño, en Cuba había muy buenos eh, peloteros. Y bueno, así los más cercanos, eh, Wilfredo Sánchez, cuando yo empecé, y luego hubo uno que es de mi edad, que para mí es el mejor béisbolista que ha tenido Cuba, Omar Linares. Ok, he said that um, in Cuba, Yes. You know, the baseball players inspired him a lot. One by the name of Wilfredo Sanchez okay. when he was younger, of course, and then he, he's followed him um, throughout, you know, of course, Wilfredo Sanchez's career. And then another one, Omar Linero. Omar Linar. Omar, Omar, Linar. Omar Linar is another one of his um, greats that he in, was inspired by, enjoyed looking up to. Okay, so I know that um, he was good at triple jump and high jump. Was he good at any other events in, in track and field? Dice que él sabe que tú era muy bien en, ¿cómo se llama? En salto de altura, ¿no verdad? Sí. Y también en, en y también el, ¿cómo? El tipre. Sí. El salto, el, ¿cómo se dice? El, el, el salto. Sal triple salt. Y hay otra cosa que también has hecho en... Bueno, realmente cuando yo empecé el atletismo, a mí no me gustaba saltar porque tenía miedo a las alturas. Poco a poco fue que empecé a tener resultados y por eso me, que me convencí de que podía ser eh, un gran saltador. Y también con los entrenamientos que hacía, vi que también podía saltar triple. Lo que entre triple y salto de altura, me decidí por el salto de altura porque no era un atleta muy rápido. Oh, ok. He says, um, he never liked jumping to begin with. Okay. He said he was always, he was always afraid of heights. But <laughs> as he, <laughs> as he continued to do it and continued to do it, you know, he... Um, the fear Improved pretty much, you know, went went away, right? Yes. So his fear went away. It's amazing uh, that the first human ever to jump eight foot was scared of heights, but it shows that once you practice and you get confident in what you do, you can overcome your fears. And that is just well, what could we say, you know? So where did he get that strong mindset from? Did it come from his family, or was it his coach, or? What gave him that strong mindset to be, you know, a champion? Because obviously we knew that, you know, he was scared of jumping high, but where did he get that mindset from? Javier dice que parece mentira que alguien como tú, que eres ya el, el campeón de cubano de, de salto de altura, estaba, tenía miedo de, de, de saltar. Y, y quieres saber cómo es que, cómo es que tú pudiste... De, de, de hacerlo, de qué clase de, de, de men, ¿sabes? La, la, la mentalidad. Ayudó primero eh, los resultados que yo iba teniendo sin querer saltar, porque decía, no sé, para ganar esta competencia era necesario saltar X altura y esa altura era la que yo saltaba, un centímetro más que esa altura ni lo intentaba. Y ya luego, con 15, 16 años, ayudó por supuesto mucho mi entrenador psicólogos también que tuve y, y, y el convencimiento de que podía ser un gran saltador. Okay, with the help of his trainer and his psychologist, when he was 15, 16 years old, you know, they were telling him um, and also he put forth all the effort that needed to, um, to be able to jump as high as he did. So he 
just continued and continued and pressed on and pressed on to, of course, where he is now. Wow. And that showed at a young age what sports psychology, so, um, you know, the, the importance of that mentality, that mindset to develop that with the talent. Because if you haven't got the right mindset with talent, you can't achieve. So it's imagine the, the team of people he had around him um, to support him to achieve that. Um, in 1989, when he, you know, broke the world indoors, I was in that competition. Did he have a great preparation leading up to it when he first jumped two meters 43? What was his, his training like leading up to the world championships indoors that year? Did he know that he, he was capable of jumping 243? Or was that out of the blue? In 1989, when you saltaste, what was it? Two? How much was it? Two point? All three. All three. Two meters. 2.03 es, es que yo no, yo, yo no estoy muy 243, 243 fue en el año 88 he said it was an 80 he said 243 was an 88 um, no, so indoors he, in the world indoors that year he jumped they said, in, they said, in Budapest in, 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 in Budapest, Budapest sí, sí indoor, es el 88 o 89 89, indoor 89 89, ok, You're, he said 89, y entonces, um, ¿qué? I, I forgot the question now, we were going back. So, so what I'm was sorry. he in good shape leading up to it? What made him realize that he could jump that high? Because was, it, was, was his training, his preparation very good leading up to that? ¿Cómo fue que tú te preparaste para saltar tan alto? ¿Cómo fue tu entrena, entrenamiento? Bueno, yo creo que fui, era un atleta muy fuerte eh, y traté, de, al no ser un atleta de, de entre los atletas rápidos, traté a mi fortaleza ponerle la mayor rapidez posible para que el salto sea más potente y creo que le, le saqué un buen resultado a eso. Ok, he said he was a strong athlete and of course he he strive and strive and strive to put forth um, the best that he possibly could. And of course that gave him the, um, the strength and what he needed to achieve that 243 for the, for the, well, uh, the win. In 89. For the yeah. in, indoors, yeah. right. For the win. Okay. Uh -huh. So, so, what is the, the highest height is attempted in training? Has he ever tried anything higher than 245 in training? Has tratado más de 243 en entrenamiento. Dile que ni, ni lo intenté nunca. He said he's never even attempted. <laughs> he's never attempted 245. He's, really? He's never... <laughs> wow. Because tell him that for me, I attempted in training two meters 50. Pero... Dice que él, él inten, cuando él estaba en uh, entrenamiento, él intentaba 250. <laughs> no, no, dile que yo lo, lo máximo 237. Creo que me sentí también un atleta de, de, de una mentalidad bien fuerte. Y por sí. eso, cuando yo tenía un parámetro en los entrenamientos, sabiendo ya cuando yo saltaba 235, 37 en entrenamiento sabía que estaba eh, al 100%. Ah, entonces, en tu 237 era como, como el como máximo más. para ti. 35 okay. era más bien, 37 una sola vez, 35 era la, la altura mía que me medía si estaba bien o no. He said his, his gauge and measurement was 235. And he said okay. when he made a 237, he said he knew that, you know, he was good there. But, um, you know, he never attempted anything higher than the, um, the 237, actually. Wow. I mean, Soto um, knows from me because he's seen me twice coming at 230. So that's what gave me the confidence mentally. In Zurich, we was in the same competition and I entered that competition at 230. And also in 1991, I started at 231 in the World Championships. Ask him if you remember those two occasions. 
when I started. Cuando, cuando él estaba ahí en Zurich y estaba, él creo que me dijo 2.30. Él empezó con 2.30, si tú te acuerdas cuando él estaba ahí, porque sí. él estaba ahí contigo. Sí, claro. En, en Zurich y también, he remembers en Zurich, and where was the other one? Tokyo, 1991. Tokyo. En Tokio también. ¿Tú, tú te acuerdas de él, Javier, cuando él estaba ahí contigo en esas dos veces, en Tokio y también en, en Zurich. En, en Tokio comenzó muy alto. Para mí, el que más alto ha empezado, en 2.34. He said, in Tokio, you started very, very, very high. Yeah, 231, yeah. Uh -huh. The main reason very was, big. yeah, I had a problem and I had a limited amount of jumps. So I know with the likes of um, Javier and Charles Austin and Hollis Conway, with special people, you have to do special things. And it's not about a mindset, it's about you have to bring it to the table because they're sí, great dice, jumpers. Sí, dice como ustedes, tú y también los otros que estaban alrededor de ustedes, que estaban en competencia, él tuvo que ponerse bien justo y, y hacer lo mejor que pudo hacer. Sí. Esa bien. Ajá. Lo recuerdo. Y él dice, he remembers that. Saltó 234. He said, you, he said you jumped 234. On that day, I know, I jumped 236. Same height as him. We both jumped ah. 36. Con, con, um, Charles Austin Jump 238, Sutter 236, Hollis Conway 236, Fourth Me 236. Ah, eran tres de ustedes que saltaron 236, me estaba diciendo. Ya, ya, ya. Sí, sí. Sí, y ahí dice, he remembers, yes, yes. Yeah, oh no, yeah, the third time. So, as any of his kids um, doing sports, and his kids got the, the, the quality and the, the talent that he has. Y Javier, algunos de tus hijos están en deporte. Ellos les gustan cualquier deporte. El mayor lo empezó y lo dejó con 16 años. ¿De ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál el mayor, deporte? El mayor, salto, igual, salto. Ah, he says, older child started high jumping, but he left it. Okay. He started it and ahora he tengo left it. Uno... ¿Y por qué lo dejó? ¿Por qué lo dejó? No lo sé, hay que preguntarle a él. He said, I asked him why did his son um, leave it, leave, leave high jumping. Creo que era demasiada la presión. Said, Fue demasiada la presión y creo que no la soportó. Okay, first he said he didn't know, for, for, you know, we'd have to ask him, but then he said he thinks it had to do with the pressure. He, he said he, he thinks the son, you know, just couldn't take all that pressure, but Y yeah, ahora tengo that. uno que acabo de cumplir ahora, hace un mes cumplió 14 años. His 14-year-old. Que está también intentándolo. Oh, he's, he's um, attempting to, to do high jump, the 14-year-old. Okay, so, brilliant. Dice, qué bueno, yeah. qué bueno. Y, y tú lo estás ayudando, claro. Exacto, sí. Yeah, he's helping him. He's helping him along the way. Oh, brilliant. So what is his goals in life now? So all his experience that he learned from sports, how is he using that now? Todas tus experiencias que has tenido en deportes, ¿cómo lo estás usando ahora en, en, en tu vida? En... A ver, eh, le saco, le creo que me, me, me ha ayudado mucho a, a ser una persona emprendedora, una persona a tratar de siempre de, de buscar lo mejor, de superarse. Creo que eso sí me, me ha ayudado mucho a lo que hice yo en el deporte. He says the, um, the skills he learned while he was in the sport um, has helped him in everyday life, helped him a lot. He's achieved um, decision-making skills, um, you know, with his children. And it just continues on and on and on. So he, he feels as though that's it's been a big help to him. Wow. Well, um, what can I say? So is there anything that he's looking forward to achieve? So what's on the, next, what's on the, the agenda now for him to, is there anything that he would like to achieve? Things that he's, he didn't have the time to do when he's competing that he, now he, he has the time he can, he can do. Tienes algo ahora que estás haciendo 
que no tenía tiempos de hacer cuando estaba en competencia. Si sí, ahora como la vida un poquito más, más calma, ¿no verdad? Para ti. Si estás haciendo algo que... Bueno, que tuviste... sí, sigo vinculado con el deporte. Todavía soy, bueno, soy secretario general de la Federación Cubana de Atletismo. Eh, entrenador también. Y allá en Cuba eh, tengo un pequeño negocio. Siempre me ha, me ha gustado el mundo de la música y tal. Y ahora tengo como especie de una discoteca para música en vivo. Ok. Se llama, de nombre es 245. ¿El nombre de? Bar 245. Ah, el nombre del bar, Bar 245. Ajá. Uh -huh. He says, yeah, he's, he has a lot on his plate. He's a general secretary for the, um, in, in Cuba. They have... ¿Eres el secretario general de qué en Cuba? De la Federación de Atletismo. The um, Athletic Federation in Cuba. Okay. He's also a trainer. He has a business. He enjoys music and he has a bar by the name of 245. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. And he enjoys um, live music as well. So he, 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 he's, he has things going on. Wow. Yeah. So well, I'm looking forward to come to Cuba to enjoy 245, you know, get, get, get my freak on, you know. Él dice que él está esperando para ir a Cuba y cuando va a Cuba, él va a ir al bar 245 para, para ir a, a disfrutar y a, y, y a bailar y a gozar. Dile, a ver, llevamos aproximadamente desde noviembre unos cuatro meses, tres meses, cuatro meses abiertos. Y están, hoy en día, open. están de los preferidos de Cuba. He says since November they're open and, and that's a, a favorite place in Cuba. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. he's a legend, so it should be, you know, the favorite place. Well known. So does he believe that anyone can break that world re record? Does he think that there's any jumpers that he thinks is, that can jump 245 over eight foot or jump 246? Javier, ¿tú crees que alguien te puedes, um, que, que puede saltar más alto que tú? Que, es, ¿Sabes? Por ahora, tú, tú ves a alguien que, que puedes, um, bueno, saltar más alto. En el año 2013, 14, 15, más que todos esos tres años, Ajá. Estuvieron muy, muy fuertes, Marchín y Bodarenko. Eh, fueron años en que yo pensé de que el mío iba a ser batido. He said in the year 13, 2013, 14, and 15, 13, 14, 15, ¿no verdad? 2013, sí. 14, 15. Sí. Um, in those years, he, there was someone there. ¿Cuál es el nombre que, que dijiste que? Mutaz y Oh, oh, Musa. Esa va Okay. He yeah. thought that maybe he would be able to break his record then. But okay. um, evidently it didn't happen. Pero no, pero no, eso no sucedió, ¿no? ¿Verdad, Javier? Bueno, ambos estuvieron bien, 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 bien cercanos. He said they were very, very, very close. Some y, have been yeah. very, very... Y así el que mejor, ya Botarenco ya en estos últimos años no, no ha estado nada bien. Y Barchín se ha mantenido. Eh, bueno, de hecho, ha sido campeón mundial y campeón olímpico de las últimas ediciones y en la actualidad el mejor saltador que hay, por mucho. Sí. Yes. Um, I, I still can't get those, the two names. Um, Musa um, Esa Basim. Ok. That, I think that was... Is that one? And who's the other one, did he say? Dijiste... ¿Cuál es el primero que...? Botarenko, el ucraniano. Botarenko. Bodarenko. Oh, Bodarenko. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, those two jumpers, yeah. The best. Right. He's... Okay. Yeah, Bodarenko. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, okay. So, okay, we're coming up to the end of the show. I'd like to thank Soto and thank you, cousin. Te quiero dar las gracias, um, Javier. Te quiero yeah. dar las gracias por estar yeah, aquí. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what I would <laughs> like to give, one wish. If he had one wish, what would that wish be? It could be anything he wants it to be. I'm giving one wish to Soto, ma'am. What would that wish be if he had one wish? 
si tú deseas cualquier cosa, oh, uh, Javier, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que tú preferís? prefiere um, obtener o, o ¿cuál, cuál es tu deseo, tu gran deseo? Mi gran deseo es tener buena salud para ver a todos mis hijos crecer. He said to have great health to see his children grow up. That's his wow. great, great, great That's grand. I mean, hey, as a fan, I'm, I'm even a bigger fan on that note. Because, you know, it's not, it's not about yourself. It's about what you give and how you inspire people. But what sí, I can dice, say, um, it was a pleasure. It was an honor jumping with you all those years ago and having some great battles and meeting great friends around the world. So on that note, I'd like to say health and strength to you and your family and my family as well. And thank you for helping me today. And what can I say? Sí, so we, el, again, el, Take care. Dice Javier que fue un honor estando contigo en competencia. Dile y igualmente. He says, he, you still there, right? Because he says, when I told him, you said it was an honor being with him. He said, likewise, he enjoyed competing with you, being with you, meeting different people. Y dice que lo mejor para tu familia. Y um, él desea lo, lo mejor para la familia. Y que se queden bien sano, claro, durante estos tiempos. Uh -huh. Y te quiere dar las gracias otra vez por estar aquí. Dile, dile que gracias, gracias. Dile que, gracias. Mira, dile que, que una vez yo tuve una conversación con Patrick Schober, el saltador al que yo le rompí el récord, y yo le dije de que yo fui recordista porque me tocó vivir la mejor época de salto de altura del mundo. Con Patrick Silver. Con Patrick Schober, el que tuvo el récord mundial antes que yo. El okay. suelo. Patrick Schober, because uh, you remember him, who had the Patrick record Schober, before. Patrick yeah. Okay. He said he had a conversation with him. Dime otra vez lo que, lo, lo que la, la conversación con Patrick. Que yo soy recordista del mundo gracias a que me tocó vivir la mejor época del salto de altura del mundo. He said he's happy, he's happy and he's grateful that he got to live the best era of the high jump era. So yeah. he's grateful for that. Yeah, me too. It was a great era. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but on that note, I'd like to say thank you once again and hope that you have a wonderful day and, you know, health and strength to you and the family and to okay. my family. Take care. Dorton Grant Academy. Work ethic. Mentally strong. Positive mindset. World class foundation, elite athletes, youth, never give up, a talented coach, meeting talented athletes equals success, championing the making, no pain, no gain, bringing new levels to the table, learning about the standard as words versus physicality, warriors teaching warriors.